I can't believe the first round is over. I don't know what to expect. Are we gonna pick first? Are the boys? I'm so stressed out. Why are you stressed out? You and Tom are doing pretty good. Yeah, what she said. Y'all look like you could be made for each other. What? No. Besides, anybody could choose him. What if the girls pick first and someone chooses him before me? Or what if the guys pick first and somebody chooses me before him? Or what if he's not really into me? What if he's not really into you? Have you seen the way he looks at you? He is totally into you. Yeah, I'm so jealous. Honestly, both you and Naomi got so darn lucky. Both of you hit it off with somebody right away. Mm, I'm jealous. Oh, are you and Sahara not doing very well? I didn't say that, but I don't know. Me and Sahara aren't like a thing, you know? We're just coupled up. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, please. The only real couple right now is Naomi and Jax. My gosh, I swear they have to give each other a hello kiss and a goodbye kiss anytime they either see each other or leave each other. It's insane. I am really trying not to get my hopes up because anything could happen. I would love to be coupled up with Tom again because I do feel a connection to him, but I don't really want to count my chickens before they're hatched, you know? So I'm just trying to act, you know, like I don't really care, like anything could happen, but I really want to be with Tom again. Well, gentlemen, another recoupling is coming up. How do we feel? You know, I'm feeling kind of hopeful. Sarabi and I were not meant to be at all. So I really am looking forward to whoever I get paired up this time with. I just hope the boys get to pick so, you know, I get my choice instead of having to be forced with somebody just because I'm the only one left. That hurt. I suppose it has to happen to somebody. How do you feel, Fruit Loop? How are you and Holly? Mm, I don't feel like I got to know her all that well. She's all right, but I, I don't really feel an instant connection. Not to say that there's not something there. Yeah, I see what you mean. You know, it's kind of tough. I could feel Holly and Dazzle fighting over me. And, well, I'd like to get to know them both. Same with you, no instant real spark or connection. But that doesn't mean that something can't be developed. If the girls get the pick, I'm sure those two will be fighting over you, Sahara. They're both interested in you. You're a lucky man having girls fight over you. Yeah, lucky. I enjoyed my time in round one with Dazzle. I really did get to know her and I feel like there could be something there. But part of me is really curious as well. What about Holly? She seemed quite polite and she seems nice. I'd like to get to know her as well. I really do hope that the boys get the pick because I would like to pick Holly and spend a round with her, get to know her, and then see which of the two I'm most interested in. I'm pretty nervous about this upcoming recoupling. I don't really know how to feel. It really hurts to know that you're the last pick, that nobody really wanted you. It makes me feel like nobody's really seeing me for me. There's more to bud than meets the eye, but how is anybody gonna know if they don't pick me? That's why I'm hoping that the boys get the choices this time, but I know it's all random, so it could be the girls again for all we know. <sighs> oh, would you stop moping around? The boys will probably get the pick. That means you get to pick Onyx. She don't have a choice. She has to be coupled up with you. And what if David gets picked to choose before me? Then what? You don't think he's got not gonna pick her? They have some clear chemistry. <sighs> well, I guess that could happen. But if that's the case, don't give up. I mean, you could get paired up with her next time. You know, you're not making me feel any better. I'm trying, okay? I, I, I'm just trying. Gosh, I'm spending so much time with you, I haven't even met anybody. Well then stop trying to help me and go talk to somebody. Well, call me a hopeless romantic, but I really want you and Onyx to work out, okay? Besides, then I get bragging rights. I was the one who pushed you and Onyx together. Seriously, that's the only reason you're doing this? No, I'm doing it also because I care about you, but also for the bragging rights. Go talk to somebody, okay? Let me mope in peace. Stop being a little crybaby. Ugh. I am putting my whole game at risk right now for Matt. And yeah, okay, part of me does want to brag about it when they finally do get together, but also I do really care about him. I can tell he really liked Onyx, and he sucks at this whole, like, getting a girlfriend thing. So, it stinks because I spent this whole first round trying to help him instead of finding somebody for me. Honestly, 
I really need to stop doing that because I have absolutely no idea who I like and who I don't. And nobody has really gotten to know me. So you know what? I hope the girls get to pick this time. Not the boys because I want my choice in somebody. Or I guess if the boys pick, then I'll know somebody fancies me. <laughs> okay, so do you want to get married in a church or on the beach? I think I'd rather get married in a church. I like a beach, but... Something about marriages and churches is just classic, you know? What about a reception? Do you want like a big party? The reception don't matter to me. As long as we get to celebrate our love for each other with our whole family and all our friends. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Seriously, you are perfect. Man, everywhere you go, Naomi and Jax. Honestly. Oh, I know. And it's not even round two officially yet. I can't take this for the whole game. I hope the viewers vote them out. It's annoying. Seriously, like, we get it. You're coupled up, you're happy, you're probably gonna end up married someday, but do you have to rub it in our faces? Honestly. Are things not going well with you and Opal? No, I, they're going pretty good. I just, I don't want to deal with these two, you know? A kiss here and there, I get it, but this is... It's like every two seconds. Ugh. At this point, it's like playing hide and seek. I was on the couch reading, and then, well, they appeared. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Jeez. So, how are you feeling about this recoupling, huh? Uh, not great. Oh, things didn't work out with you and Onyx? Uh, it's complicated. I, I do like her. She seems pretty cool, and I would love to get to know her even better. I feel like there could be something there, but... This other guy told her he likes her, and now she's all confused. And I think she kind of wants to see what's going to happen with him. Oh no, seriously? Man, that kind of drama. I thought for sure we'd get out of that once we were in here. There's only ten of us, you know, but jeez. Eh, what can you do? So you and Opal, you think you guys are going to end up together again? Well, I hope so. The guys get the pick. Hopefully I get to snag her, because... I don't know. I don't know what the other guys are thinking. And, uh, well, hopefully if the girls get the pick, she'll pick me. You're a lucky guy, Tom. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, we'll see how lucky I get at the recoupling. Oh, seriously, Srabi, you're so lucky. You have such short fur. Like, you don't have to worry about keeping it nice. It is hard. Look how much of a mess I look like right now. My beauty routine is totally off the rails. I wish I had nice fur like you. It's so pretty. I just have the short stuff. It's so boring. I don't know. I think it looks nice on both of you. It suits both of you very well. Oh, well, thanks, Charlie. That's so nice to say. Oh, come on, man. We all know what you're doing. There's a recap like coming up. You're just trying to sweeten us up, aren't you? Well, it's working. <laughs> Speaking of a recoupling, I need everybody to head to the living room so we can get this recoupling going. See you there. Oh boy, here we go. Hello everybody. Congratulations on surviving to round two. It is time for the round two recoupling. I hope everybody enjoyed their time in their couples because things are about to get shaken up. In round one, the girls got to choose who they were going to be coupled up with. And according to a random draw, the girls get to choose again. Oh man. I got nothing to worry about. I know Naomi's gonna pick me. <laughs> All right, so boys, I'm gonna need you to get lined up between the candles. Girls, I'm gonna need you to get lined up off to the side, and then we'll begin the recoupling. Good luck, everybody. All right, girls, I hope you are ready to choose your new partners in round two. And boys, I hope that you're ready to get chosen. Before we begin, I have an unfortunate announcement to make. You all probably realized that one of the girls is missing. Unfortunately, Emerald had to step away from the game due to an unforeseen personal emergency. This, of course, means that we are short one girl. Tonight, at the recoupling, all but one boy will get chosen. The boy that is remaining will be coupled up with a replacement girl that the viewers choose. You will meet your new partner in time for the get to know you activity. No way. That certainly is a twist. Oh my gosh, Emerald, I was wondering where she was. Oh no. With that being said, let the recoupling begin. Girls, the order was chosen by a random draw. 
the first girl who gets to choose is Onyx. Oh, um, okay. Okay, um, honestly, this is a little bit tough. Um, there's a lot going on in my mind right now, and I was really going back and forth between who to choose if I had to choose, and I guess I'm being forced to make a choice. So, um, I'm going to choose a guy who I really do want to get time to know. I think there could be something there, and I don't want to waste this opportunity, so my gut tells me <laughs> to choose David. Oh, I am so glad you're giving me another chance. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we had so much fun. I really think there could be something there. Congratulations to Onyx and David. You kins can head to the couch. The next girl who gets to pick is... Naomi. Oh my gosh, yes! This is the easiest decision of my life because I'm pretty sure I'm ready to just commit myself 100% to this man and I choose Dex. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, you guys can enter the couch. Thank you. Next. Oh, I'm so glad I'm with you again. I know. Oh, seriously. The next girl to get to choose her partner is Sarabi. Oh, yes, I'm not last this time. Okay, well, last time I got stuck with somebody that I really had absolutely no chemistry with and we're just not meant to be at all. So I wanna try something new this time. And I guess because I feel kind of bad because his um, partner is no longer in the game and I don't want him to end up alone. Um, I am going to pick Zeus. Oh, um, uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I know I'm not like the pretty choice, but... No, it's okay. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover. Come on. Oh man, I feel sorry for you. Why? Cause, you know. No, I don't know. Stop being such a jerk, man. Give somebody a chance before you judge them. Thanks, Zeus. The next girl to choose her partner is... Poppy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Sorry, Holly. Okay. Hello everybody, um, so I picked a friend last time, basically, as a safe choice, um, and I feel like I really put my game at risk and put myself at risk and my own relationship potential. So I'm going to pick somebody um, that I want to get to know. I think that this guy had kind of a rough time last time and I saw how miserable he was, so hopefully I won't be as much of a miserable choice, <laughs> at least for him. Um, so I'm going to choose, but did you see? You was a bud? Oh, thank you. Don't get your hopes up, because this might not work, but I'm willing to give it a try, okay? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Thank you. Congratulations to Poppy and Bud. The next girl to make her choice of partner is... Holly. Oh, wonderful. I am sure this is going to ruffle some feathers, and I'm sure this is going to probably damage a potential friendship with this girl, and I'm really sorry but I need to take a chance for myself, so I choose Sahara. Oh, okay. Thank you for choosing me. I look forward to getting to know you better. Yes, me too. Hmm. Figures. The next girl to make her choice is Sweets. Oh, me. Hi, guys. Um, well, I don't think me and my partner did so well last time, so I kind of am on the same page as some of the other girls. I just want to try something new, so I'm going to pick Loop. Oh, thank you. Why, thank you very much. I very much look forward to getting to know you. Me too. Shall we go to the couch? Ah, yes, of course. Let's go. The next girl to make her choice is Dazzle. Well, this stinks, because I'm going to be honest. The guy I was gonna choose, he got swiped up. I'm not the kind of kins to steal someone else's kins like some girls I know, so I ain't gonna choose Tom, cause I think there's another kins in here that's got her eye on him. And of the other two, no offense Matt, but wolves are just not my thing, so Charlie, I guess that means I'm gonna be coupled up with you. Oh, goody. I'm a little bit excited. Um, I loved watching you on Webkin's Big Brother. <laughs> oh, okay, well cool, and uh, I guess we can talk about that, huh? Even though I wasn't on there in a long time, but come on. And the last girl to pick is Opal. This is honestly kind of easy, and I hope he's expecting this, but I choose Tom. Yes, sorry Matt. I am so glad that you chose me. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you even better, and I think that we have potential 
Kind of, yeah. Wanna ride on my back up to the couch? Yes. <laughs> Matt, this unfortunately you see you as a partner list player in Love or Nothing, which is tough because how can you find love without a partner? But like I said, you will be meeting your new partner at the beginning of the Get to Know You activity. The viewers of Love or Nothing are going to be voting on who they want to see as your new partner. So good luck because it could be somebody you totally click with or it could be somebody you despise. Great, making me feel very positive about that one, Feline. Thanks, that's my job. All right, let's go up to the couch to talk to the rest of the crew. Oh man, I don't see Matt up here. That must mean Matt's the one without a partner. Matt's without a partner? Double things for choosing me. Oh, that poor kids. I hope we get somebody good. Who cares about him? <sighs> this is embarrassing. Sorry, Matt. No, don't be. If you've got something with Tom, then best of luck to you guys. I wouldn't want you to choose me and put him at risk. Yeah, that's true. I just, I still feel bad. Don't worry, man. I bet you'll get a good partner. I hope so. Excuse me, Matt. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Congratulations on your new couples. I really hope the best for all of you. I know some of you have already pretty much found love, but um, many of you might leave with nothing if this round doesn't go well for you. No pressure, huh? No pressure. <laughs> The new girl will be arriving just before the get to know you activity, like I said. I know Matt is really excited. No, no I'm not. Like I said, really excited. I'll see everybody again soon. Best of luck. Make sure to spend your time wisely. Get to know your partners before the next activity coming up before you know it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ow. Well then. I'm hungry. Does anybody else want dinner? Dinner sounds fantastic. Count me in. I'll race you all to the kitchen. But that's not fair. You're bigger than the rest of us. And you can fly. Ugh. Uh, hey, if they all leave, we get the couch to ourselves. Yeah, so let's all leave. Nobody wants to see you two kissing. Ew. Uh-huh. Rude. 